Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to be comparing the Ray-Ban Original Aviators against the Ray-Ban Cockpits. So first, we'll try these sunglasses on and talk about the dimensions. First, we'll pop on these original Ray-Ban Aviator sunglasses, and these sunglasses have 58mm lenses along with a 14mm bridge. And here we can see the traditional pilot-shaped lenses with the teardrop style. And these are a very iconic pair of sunglasses. And now let's pop on the Ray-Ban cockpits. And these sunglasses have 56 millimeter lenses, so they are a little bit smaller, and they also have a 14 millimeter bridge. So both these sunglasses have the exact same bridge. The only difference is going to be the lens size. So the Ray-Ban Aviator 58 millimeter are the standard size Ray-Ban Aviators, and then the 56, I would say, is probably the standard size of the Ray-Ban cockpits. So we'll pop on these Ray-Ban Aviators again, and here we can see a very classic look and shape. I think these sunglasses always look very good. They're definitely a classic look that is never going to go out of style. They, of course, have a painted on Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner. They're also going to have an etched R RB logo in the middle left of the lens. Those are going to have fully adjustable nose rests and through the nose rests are going to be etched RB logos. Both these sunglasses are going to have that. That's going to be there for authentication purposes. And both these sunglasses have the exact same really nice acetate ear rest, which is very comfortable. Now both pairs of the sunglasses that I have to show you guys in today's video have Ray-Ban's G15 lens and that's kind of Ray-Ban's standard green lens and the lens quality of these is very good. Both these sunglasses have all glass lenses and the optical quality on them is going to be absolutely identical. The Ray-Ban aviators are made in Italy and they're going to sit here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses. Now unfortunately most Ray-Ban cockpits are made in China and they're going to sit here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses. So basically the main difference between these two sunglasses glasses is that one pair of the Ray-Ban Aviators is made in Italy and the other pair is usually made in China. But that being said, the build quality really feels the exact same. I don't feel like one is inferior to the other. As far as coverage go, the Ray-Ban Aviator is going to offer better coverage than the Ray-Ban cockpits. Ray-Ban Aviators always have very good protection from sun. There's not going to be a big gap to let sunlight in unprotected on the side. And then up top, again, there's really not big gaps to let sunlight in. Now the Ray-Ban cockpits, again, they offer very good protection, but they're just going to be a little bit bigger of a gap to let sunlight in unprotected on my face on the side and then up top again there's a little bit bigger gap to let sunlight in unprotected so as far as practicality goes you have to go to the original Ray-Ban aviators as far as looks go though I actually really do like the Ray-Ban cockpits I think they look really good and very unique they're not extremely common like the Ray-Ban aviators are the Ray-Ban aviators are kind of a dime a dozen everybody's wearing them and that's because they look so good but if you're wearing the cockpits you're definitely going to stand out amongst the crowd. Both these sunglasses have very nice all metal hinges which feel very good when opening up and when closing them. But that's basically it for this comparison. Again this is the Ray-Ban Aviator 58mm and then here is the Ray-Ban Cockpit 56 millimeter sunglasses on my face shape. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then to be notified when I release new videos to this YouTube channel. I also have hundreds of videos, comparisons, and reviews on my channel. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check out my channel for more videos. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.